Ta-da! I mean, Tardo! Yeah, we're looking at the Tardo Smart Home Thermostat. Okay, so I've been looking at getting a smart thermostat for a little while now. Uh, in the UK, the weather's getting cold, um, so now is a perfect time to look at testing out a smart thermostat. So there are many products on the market available to do this. Um, probably most common is the Nest. Um, Honeywell got one, there's uh, the Hive as well, um, and I don't know if many of you guys have heard this one, but the Tardo as well. So uh, I guess I'll just be clear up front, this isn't a, a sponsored uh, video or anything. Um, I was decided I was buying this one uh, and I contacted the guys at Tardo and they gave me 15% um, uh, off my order. So that's obviously really helpful. Um, and as you see here, I've got two thermostats. So this is the, the home thermostat with the smart bridge. And I have two thermostats in my house for two zones, so I have the additional unit as well. Uh, the costs are around £200 uh, for the bridge unit and an additional £100 for the additional sensor. Uh, in another video, I'm also looking at testing out the, the radiator um, smart sensor as well, so uh, there'll be an additional video uh, to come with that. So, the reason I've gone for this one is a, a few reasons. Um, the first one, I really like kind of how it looks. Now, I'm a big fan of how the Nest looks. It's really futuristic, uh, you know, it lights up, it looks awesome. Um, but I say that this is a wife friendly one, right? So when this thing is on, it just looks like a flush, pretty much flush white box. Nothing too obtrusive. Uh, and then when you uh, use it via the touch panel on it, things light up, the temperature lights up, the buttons light up for increasing and decreasing temperature. So I think it's gonna look really smart when it's installed. Obviously, because it's a smart device as well, you can have the app on your phone, so you can control things remotely. This also works um, with the Amazon Echo, and it's also going to work shortly, um, at the time of doing this now, it's November 2016, with the Apple Home Smart Kit. Um, so one thing you will notice in here, the bridge we have in here is a version two bridge. This actual box is for the version three. They're gonna send that out um, separately. And really the only difference in terms of functionality is compatibility with the, the Apple Kit. Um, so I'm not interested in that right now, so no big issue. So just bear that in mind, the bridge uh, that you'll see is the version two. Um, if you guys go to buy this, you know, you'll get the, the version three. So let's have a look what's uh, in the box. Let's pop that there. Get the heat. So one of the other things that's kind of cool uh, about this, so um, like lots of these devices, devices obviously they're smart. Um, they can utilize um, the geofencing on your phone as well. So basically it knows when you've left the house it knows kind of how far away you are from the house and so it will gradually reduce the temperature over the distance you travel away within a certain defined area. Uh, and what's really kind of smart about that is obviously you're not using, um, you know, your heating uh, when you're at home. Also, if you kind of decide for some reason the traffic's really bad and you turn around, depending on where you are in that ring fence area, the house is going to heat up again. So it gradually decreases um, over time. So if you just use an example, say you set your house at 20 degrees, you know, when you're kind of three miles away, it will reduce to 18. When you're five miles away, perhaps it reduces to 16. And once you're like, you know, 15 miles away, it then really starts to reduce down to 10 or something, depending on obviously how you set things up. And so I think that's really smart. Also, it utilizes uh, the location of your house and the weather forecast. So um, you know, if it's gonna be a hot day, it obviously you can project that based on the forecast and that will also bake into kind of how it decides to heat the house. Uh, and it also learns kind of how long does it take to heat up your house, right? So over the, the initial weeks, it's gonna learn if you want your house at 20 in the morning, it, you know, it takes, um, you know, half an hour to heat up your house, for example, and you want it to heat up for six o'clock, it knows it only needs to start heating the house at half five, for example, instead of four o'clock, perhaps how you used to do it. Um, 
so yeah, I'm gonna be obviously to probably do a follow-up video once we've used this for a while. Um, so this is just kind of initial unboxing uh, and a very quick kind of install bit at the end just to show you guys just how simple it is to install. So this is essentially just the thermostat replacement, so as I said, so it's not controlling the water. If you want to control water, there's another add-on unit. I think it's around £100. Um, however, you need to make sure that your, your boiler and the control kit um, for the boiler and the water is compatible. Mine is a new, relatively new house, a few years old. The, the kit that I have uh, in this instance isn't compatible, so I'm just going with the thermostats. Wasn't really that worried about the water anyway. Uh, another advantage of this, I think, over the nest is you don't have to have any control plugs into the pipe work. It's all literally just replacing uh, your existing thermostat, so really simple. So we get this out of the box. You can see straight away just how slim that is. Okay. There's a small button here that you press to activate the panel and then it will light up when it has power. So that is excellent. <clears throat> also in the box, as I mentioned before, um, I had this little note that basically confirms you know, I have the version 2 bridge in here, the version 3 bridge will be sent out separately uh, and obviously when that's happening it works with the Apple HomeKit, Amazon Echo and IFTTT. So good to know. Else in the box, so of course here we have the bridge. Um, so I think one of the differences with the, the new, the V3 bridge that you get, you know, so let's say this is V2, is um, I think it's a slightly smaller bridge and I think you also have a pairing button on it which is required um, for the home kit uh, and basically the way it works is uh, ethernet into the back of your router or switch whatever you have available to connect out to the internet and then um, micro USB um, to power it so you can just typically you have a, a 5 volt out USB on the back of your router so you can just plug that in and get yourself up and running and there are also um, power plugs in case you don't have that connection on the back so you can plug it in and get up and running so UK and Europe plug there in the box we also have as we would hope in there nicely. Um, the small Ethernet lead, that's kind of a lot shorter than I would like. I would like a, a longer one. Um, I guess it's going to depend on where your equipment is. So I'm probably going to use a, a different Ethernet cable to connect that up. And a reasonable kind of length, it's probably about a meter, um, USB uh, to micro USB there for the power. See what else we have in here. Let's close it up, all up. And this other compartment. Oh, this is a nice touch. We have a volt sensing screwdriver. So basically, when you're taking off your faceplate and adjusting um, the cables, obviously you should have isolated your power first. Um, and if you haven't, this is going to probably uh, I have these already. It's probably going to light up orange. Uh, to indicate there's still power to source, so you want to disconnect that to save yourself. Uh, we also have uh, some uh, some sticky labels to put on the wiring. So as you're disconnecting from the existing thermostat, you can keep your um, wiring all lined up nicely, so you know what you're doing. Uh, a small screw, I guess that's for probably. Yeah, that's for the bottom of the Tardo to fit it into the fixing plate. And then we have screw or double-sided tape fixing options to fit the thermostat to the wall. So that's it, that's what's in the box. Um, I'll put a link in the description. So before you decide to buy one of these, you can go to the website and you can put in the information as to what um, boilers, controllers, thermostats you have, and then you obviously can get a response back from them to make sure your stuff works before you buy it. Um, there's also, and I'll probably do a little add on to this video here, um, when you're installing, you go to an installation page and basically it takes you through um, the steps of doing the installation. So basically anyone can do it. You don't need to hire 
a professional. Obviously, if you're not, if you don't have any confidence with electricals and things, you should always yeah, consult an electrician um, to help you with that. One other thing that I think is great about this product. So again, if, if you're interested in smart homes or smart devices, perhaps the cost doesn't put you off that much. You know, 200 pounds to replace the thermostat that essentially is probably only cost you 20 pounds currently, the one you have on the wall. That is a, a big outlay. This thing should save you money, right? Depending on how good you are at um, heating usage anyway, I think the key issues or the key benefits are gonna be, you know, when you, when you normally come home for say six, but you're delayed in traffic, your heating isn't gonna come on, right? It's gonna know where you are and delay heating. Obviously, if you're away, whatever, it's gonna be able to do the same. Or you can override that remotely if you want through the app. Um, but basically, it's an offer they have on right now. If this doesn't save you money, they're not gonna ask for any proof or any evidence. They ask that you keep it for at least six months. If it doesn't save you money, you can return the kit and they'll give you a full refund. So, you know, you can't say fair on that. So basically, if this doesn't save you, um, you know, money on your heating bill, I'm not saying you're gonna return the cost in the first year, but you know, if you don't save any money on your heating bill in a like-for-like -like scenario over a year, or as early as six months, um, you can just ring them up send this back, don't ask for any questions, they're not gonna ask for any proof as to, you know, did you or didn't you save money, they will give you uh, the money back once you return the product. What's not to like? So yeah, um, I do a follow-up video to tell you guys what I think about it, um, how it's working, how I like it with the app and um, with the Echo. Hopefully tag on uh, a short video here um, with the install uh, very briefly and the quick connection with the app and installation and uh, yeah I think this is going to be good I really like how kind of simplistic it looks it's not obtrusive it's going to sit in nice in the home and I think the technology is pretty smart so yeah that's the Tardo smart kit smart thermostat kit um, and that accessory as I mentioned before, you can get the add-ons, uh, the extension kit to be able to control the water. Um, you may actually need the extension kit if um, you don't have wired um, uh, thermostats. So if they're wireless, you may need the extension kit to enable you to do that. Um, and then as I mentioned, I've also ordered one of the smart radiator thermostats that I'm gonna put on one of the radiators to, to have an additional zone to see how that works. We have a particular room it's never as warm as the others, so I'm hoping that's gonna help there. So we'll do a review of that as well. That's it. Okay, so the smart thermostats are installed, so I thought I'd share really quick thoughts of the install. There's not really a load to show in terms of installation video. I'll show a couple of little clips uh, up here just for reference. Install process is really super easy. Uh, literally clip off the old thermostat, uh, attach the wires um, and plug them in. As you kind of go to Tardo slash install, it takes you through the whole process. You tell them, uh, again, what boiler you've got, what controller module, what thermostat you've got. Gives you very specific install instructions, even how to remove uh, the thermostat based on the models you have, so super handy. Having that uh, little screwdriver in that will check the voltage, make sure you've got power turned off, works really awesome. Once you've plugged it all in, um, you basically set your heating control unit to be always on, and then everything is now controlled by the Tardo. So, fantastic. Things paired really quickly. Um, the thing that was slightly annoying um, is when I went to install then the second um, thermostat, I had to cool them. Um, so I couldn't just add it myself. When I went to add it myself, uh, it said I had to call. I tried multiple times, definitely had to call them. Um, so I had to speak to a guy uh, to, to allow to have the extra device added. Um, so I did question, is this something that happens all the time? Because it's gonna be a pain in the ass if you wanna add like, you know, 20 radiator uh, smart modules, right? So apparently it's a known issue, not really sure what's going on there. Uh, I'll obviously provide some more information when I get the radiator one and install that, see how that goes. Um, but yeah, the process seems to work really well. Um, you set your control uh, of temperature on the device. You can have to do that on the website. You can do that on the, the the mobile device app as well. 
Obviously, if you've got the mobile device on, it knows whether you're home or away, so you can set the temperatures up there. You can also put in information about your current bills, which will help show you if you're saving money or not. Um, and you obviously have manual control. So once you have manual, if you if you do manual override of the preset settings, um, though, <clears throat> those become current until you make a change or you change settings. So I've set that to be any manual override lasts for an hour, it's like a boost function kind of thing. Then it will return back to its default state. So far, everything seems to be working okay. The boiler is firing uh, when the right temperature hits. I have noticed uh, the boiler is still on, even though the temperature of the room is exceeding that of the required temperature. So I have to see kind of what happens there. I'll kind of play a bit more um, you know, during the rest of today. Uh, I also noticed that one of the devices seems to be doing some kind of update. So when I installed the first device, um, it had kind of these rings that show up um, for you to connect. And when I did the other one, it had kind of like a Wi-Fi um, signal and then a tick that came after, and then it has some image, looks like a download sign. So I think it's doing something, um, you know, I leave it 12 hours or so and see how it works. So yeah, installation, super straightforward, Literally anyone can do it. You don't need any kind of electrical background or any experience, you know, just common sense. And I think you should be good. So yeah, check out um, a video that comes in the future. It talks about how I'm getting on uh, with the Tardo. Uh, did do a really quick check um, with the Echo. Um, so it seems to know that they exist. Uh, I give it commands and I can see on the, on the screen something is happening, so that's really good. Um, and the last thing that I guess it wasn't sure if it was going to happen or not. When you make a, a command change, either by voice on the website or in the app, nothing happens on the display. I thought it might be like on the Nest, when you make a change, it will flash up that something's happened. It doesn't, it just stays completely blank. So I think that's good and bad. Uh, from the geek in me, it's bad, right? Because I really like it to kind of flash up because, you know, flashy, flashy is cool. Um, but from a kind of simpl simplified, you know, cosmetic perspective, it's really good that that's just constantly um, you know, blank, so it look, looks really smart uh, in terms of fitting in with your home decor. So, yeah, Tado, off to a good start. Thanks for watching this video. A thumbs up would be really appreciated. If you're interested in other geek type videos, please consider subscribing to Spectrum Geeks. Why not also follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And before you leave, why don't you check out one of these other videos that may be of interest. Thanks again for watching.